It is the morning of our move. I am so excited. I cannot wait to get out of here. It's like it's 5 52 in the morning and our goal is to get to San Diego by 7 ish 7 30 ish a.m. Um, so our goal was to leave by 6 a.m. I don't know if that's going to happen because there's still stuff in the apartment that we need to take care of. Um, it's like eight minutes away. So like pretty obvious that that's not going to happen, but we will be leaving shortly after six to go ahead and get down there. So I wanted to do a quick tour of this apartment real quick before I go and that way you guys can see this one and you can see the other one. I was hoping it'd be lighter outside by now so that you guys could see more. Um, but I took some videos yesterday of what the outside looks like from this window and from the other window. See, like there's still some stuff left, but this is the living room, dining room, kind of a dining room. We didn't use it like that. We used it as a, uh, as where a desk was. And then we have our cute little kitchen here. And outside of this window, normally you can see the golf course and like a tiny bit of the ocean, but I will show you a video because you can't see that now. <laughs> and then back here is our laundry room, the first bathroom. This is like the guest bedroom. So this is the secondary bedroom, and then this is the primary bedroom. And so this, still our mattress is there. We had to sleep on something last night. <laughs> and then this is the bathroom. And then this is my little clothes. This is where my desk used to be and where I used to film my videos and everything. So weird seeing everything so empty. Maxine is ready. Like I said, we still have some cleaning up to do, so I'm gonna go do that and then I'm gonna take you to the new place, which I, it's so exciting. <laughs> I can't wait to show you. So we moved from Dana Point, California, which is in Orange County, to downtown San Diego. So quite a big difference, but not that far away. So it only took about an hour and some change to get there. So not a bad drive at all and let the tour begin. So when you first walk in, this is the closet where the washer and dryer is and then co the coat closet next to it. But the main point of this whole apartment is these giant windows, these 15 foot ceilings. The views are just amazing. Then we have the kitchen, great kitchen. Super happy to have the water in the fridge, by the way, we did not have that at the old place. And then they've got this amazing stove too. So I'm very excited to use that. I do cook a lot. I love the white cabinets. They had a choice between like light and dark cabinets depending on the floor plan. And I'm so happy that we got the light ones with the one that we chose. This is the first bathroom. So this is like the guest bathroom. Um, it's primarily gonna be Sunny's bathroom, not mine. There's Maxine, she's super happy. She seems to really like it here so far. And then this is the guest bedroom or like the second bedroom. This is gonna be Sunny's office. So I can't wait to see how this room turns out. It's also amazing because it's got extra storage. It's got another closet in there. So I don't have to share the other closet. And then this is the living room. Our plan is to put two giant bean bags in here so that we can just lay down and look at the view, look outside, because I feel like you just, you just can't beat this. This is absolutely beautiful. And I can't wait to show you what it looks like without the fog because you can see the water. Then you come into the bedroom and I am so excited to wake up to this view. Then you come into the bathroom. This is primarily gonna be my bathroom. This one's got a tub, the other one doesn't have a tub. So I need to get a shower curtain for this one but very nice bathroom the bedroom is a little bit small both of the bedrooms are pretty small so that's one thing is a bit hesitant about but i mean with the views like this i can i can deal with it i'll live with it i can't believe that we are here <laughs> it's so foggy i want to take another video when it's not so foggy out when it clears up but it's kind of nice it's like nice it's like 8 a.m right now it's like nice and sleepy vibes i have my little like first day stuff in here I have like a backpack. <laughs> this is it. Our truck is outside, but the movers don't get here until like 11. So this is literally all that I have. And I have a little suitcase that just has like my important stuff in it that I didn't want to leave in the truck. But this is just absolutely insane. Insane. If you watch my channel, you may know that I um, was previously filming in my closet and it was a clawfist. I was working in there and filming in there. So I didn't have like a space to put my clothes, but now we've got this amazing space to put clothes. I was just using a dresser before, but this is way better. Okay, I need to figure out food. So I'm gonna go sit in my little area right here. I need to do a Costco order today too. Like I just, I wanna get food in here right now because I'm so hungry. <laughs> oh my gosh, wait, I have to show you how foggy it got. Look at this. Look at how foggy it is now. We brought some of our stuff in. We're waiting for our movers to get here. Okay, but let me tell you what we did. It was like substantially cheaper, like $1,500 cheaper for us to get a U-Haul and hire like movers on one side to load the truck up, drive the U-Haul ourselves, and then have movers here to unload the stuff into our apartment. So all we had to do was do the drive to save like $1,500, which, okay, I will do that. Um, <laughs> the thing is like now you have to hope that the second group of movers shows up 
and I think that they will. They're not supposed to come for another two hours, so there's time, but we're trying to get like a couple of things in here so we can be like a little bit more comfortable in the meantime. We have some food coming. I just did a Costco order. Costco's not gonna be here for another couple hours though. I also ordered some bagels. Hopefully the bagels will be here soon. I just, I'm like in shock, but I know I'm gonna get super hungry. And I just want to have the food situated because I don't know, I can't do anything if I don't have the food situated. Like I'm not going to be in the mood. I'm not going to want to do anything. We are also trying to get one of the bean bags up here. We bought some love sack bean bags. So they're going to go like over in this area, but <laughs> they weigh like 75 pounds and they're not open yet, which is a good thing. So like in a big duffel bag, I'll show you when they get here. But um, Sunny is downstairs trying to get one of those out of the truck right now so that we can start like opening it so that it can start puffing up because it takes like 24 hours and we really want to use them so i want to lay in one tonight like i i don't care if we bring both of them up here just one like i just want to feel it i also need to clean the floors which is not gonna be fun um i don't know where the swiffer and the swiffer wedge at are they're in the truck as soon as somebody brings them up i will start doing the floors but uh this, this is what we got for now i'm so excited about this stove though like this this oh I can't wait for this. I'm so excited. Also, I have to say that these amenities here, like that's half the reason why we got this place. Obviously the view is going to be incredible. I will show you once it clears up. If it clears up, I think it will today. Um, I don't think it's supposed to be cloudy like this all day. But look at this shower. This one has a detachable shower head and this one's primarily going to be Sunny's bathroom. But mine doesn't have that. But this one has a rain shower, which I don't want. So I'm okay with that. And plus mine has a bathtub. This one doesn't have a bathtub. But you guys know that moving is just like exhausting and luckily we're doing this in two parts so yesterday we filled up the truck today we drove down here and obviously like i said we're waiting for the movers so doing it as a two-day move honestly i thought that it makes it better i was so worried because i hadn't heard from the movers and i just called them and they said they're on their way so thank goodness <laughs> You guys should have seen, I have a, actually a video of it, I have like a picture of it or a video of it. I don't know which one, but I I packed these boxes so nice and so neatly and I thought this move was gonna go so smoothly and it just took so much more out of me than I expected. Plus now I have like old dishes that I didn't plan to bring because the order for our new dishes, it hasn't shipped yet. It's not supposed to ship for like a week. So I'm like, okay, I have to bring these like some bowls, some cups, some, some. I'm just so relieved that the movers are coming. Like when I didn't hear back from them, I texted them earlier today and when I didn't hear back, I was like really concerned because they didn't call yesterday or anything to say like, oh, we'll be there for sure. We'll see you guys tomorrow. Like nothing like that. And then our Costco order is supposed to be here soon. Let's see, I have all this like, I have these like lids to my dishes and stuff, I, or to my um, pots and pans and stuff. And I wasn't supposed to be bringing those. I was supposed to get a new order, but it's not happening for a while. So thankfully I didn't get rid of my old stuff yet. When it comes to the kitchen, we're gonna be working with like the bare minimum for a while, which is fine because I'm excited for the new stuff. But um, yeah, for right now this is what we got. This place feels so good. Like it feels so like comforting. And also I know that that's because it's a super nice place and like a super nice building. And we're on like a amazing high floor with an excellent view. I get all those things. Those things all make for a great building. But like I just feel comfortable here. I feel happy here. Like I feel so good right now. <laughs> I'm gonna keep unpacking and then I'll show you what it looks like after the movers move some of the stuff in. It's not gonna be pretty. Uh, it's probably gonna be pretty for like a couple more days. But the good thing is it's Labor Day weekend. So we have until Tuesday. Um, right now, what day is it? It's Thursday right now. Um, I'm off work yesterday, today, tomorrow, and then Monday for the holiday. So oh, we're both off work for those days. So beautiful, amazing. Plus I'm so excited to start like working here because uh, I work from home. So this place has a lot of co-working spaces and I cannot wait for that. It's like one of, the most, one of the things that I'm most excited about. There's also a happy hour tonight and I don't know if we're gonna make it. Uh, it starts at like four. So it's like four to seven, I think. I don't know if we're gonna make it to the happy hour. I don't know if I'm gonna be up for that. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to like shower, get myself together, get all that done like by then. Cause I really just wanna lay down. So I also wanna meet people here, but also I wanna meet people when I'm feeling good, you know? And there's a lot of events in the building. So there'll be another chance if we don't make it tonight, but I wanna show you guys what it looks like once we get some more stuff in. Um, really just wanted to share this experience because it's, it's just, it's just crazy to me. Like I'm just so thankful to be here. Like I can't wait till it clears up too. Cause I wanna show you guys what it looks like when it's not so cloudy but the clouds even look beautiful like how crazy is this 
And look, it's got the little slinky sink. What do you call these? I don't know what you call these. We had to roll the blinds down because it was getting really hot in here because the air conditioning keeps losing connection because I think you need it to be connected to Wi-Fi. I don't really know how to use it, but it keeps saying like lost connection. So it's not actually cooling anymore, I don't think. So I'm currently in here organizing my shoes. The stuff is still not all in here. Like this is not everything. Our bed's not even in here yet. Maxine is here though. She's hanging out with me. I wanted her to be okay and like be safe out, out of the way. She's a little bit nervous, but she's doing okay here. And then as soon as they're gone, as soon as the movers leave, you can come out. You can come explore the rest of the place again. They have like a dog, a little like dog park and I haven't seen it. I haven't even seen pictures of it really. I saw like a small like Instagram story of it, but not the whole thing. So we're gonna go check that out. I took her to the, I was just been taking her to the bathroom outside um, cause I didn't know. <laughs> because <laughs> I haven't the waiting for the elevators with like multiple people moving in today has been a lot yeah I'm gonna take her down there later though because I really want to see it I'm so excited I think she'll love it she's very friendly with other dogs but like she's not like really super social she just doesn't she tolerates other dogs like she's not aggressive or anything but I think that she will like have in some company out there there's lots and lots of dogs in this building like I said it's Labor Day weekend so I understand a lot of people are moving today this is just it's a lot guys I cannot wait to get unpacked though and to sleep here tonight I uh, I want to open one of these so bad. Oh, they're so dirty from shipping. Like they ship like this. Like the shipping label is on the side of this. Uh, it got shipped to our old place. So then we just brought them here. But they ship just like in this bag. And it's so, you can feel like how much tension there is in this in these bags right now. It's so like packed in there. Now if I can clear these boxes out the way, I can mop the floors and at least get this out. And then clear everything else up and, and then do the rest of the floors. I think is what I'm going to try to do. Because everything is in a box right now. Like I'm not really worried about touching the floor at the moment. Like everything is in a box. Honestly, the movers are making such good time. Like we're we're getting there. We're, we're really getting there. We don't have that much stuff left in the truck. Just the big furniture stuff. Um, there's like a big desk that goes in this room for Sunny's office. So there's a big desk that goes in there that they still have to bring up. But other than that, like we are, we're pretty much there. Oh, and we need the bed frame. That's right. We finally got to open up the bean bags and they are giant. Let me tell you, this was not an easy task. It took quite a while for us to get them out of the bags at all even. And then they immediately started puffing up, but you're supposed to let them puff up for like 24 hours. But we had nowhere else to sleep that night because uh, we didn't unwrap the mattress. We didn't put together the bed. So we slept on these and this is what they looked like the next morning. I feel like they're just perfect for this space. Like it's fun, it's cute, I love it. And then I wanted to show you a couple days later when it was actually nice and clear outside so that you can see the view. And I just love how much of the water you can see from here. It's just absolutely beautiful. Also, I did not end up making it to that happy hour the first night. We ended up going and checking out the pool, going to the hot tub, looking around, and that was it. It was a successful moving day. I am in love with the new place. I'm extremely grateful. Thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you want to see more videos like this one, and I will see you in the next one. Bye, guys.